What's up, world? You know it's time for a Boom Shock Alert video! What's up, world? What's that say on the bottle? Kind of looks like it says... Well, liquor? Can y'all see that? Oh my goodness. 14%? That can't be no malt liquor. And that beautifully hand painted glass bottle? And it's not even 40 ounces. It's like 28. Some shit like that. I don't know. I don't know how they measure it over there where they make 14% malt liquor. Hold this right there. Thank you very much. All right. What's up, YouTube? It's time to make a malt liquor video. Malt liquor style, right? So check it out, world. What you saw in the opening sequence of this epic video was the bombardment of medallions from the spirits of craft beer who sacrificed themselves and their spirit for the recreational consumption of Beverage object. Yes, and I'm thirsty. And I saw this malt liquor in the store. And I read the story about this malt liquor. This malt liquor has a humble beginning on December 6th. Once every year. Where this malt liquor is born and then aged for 10 months before they even bottle it. And then it's bottle conditioned for a recommended time of about one year. This particular batch, 2012 malt liquor. Summer towels. That says, some dude kind of looks like Santa I'm not really sure what's going on there maybe this is Santa Claus I don't know but this malt liquor wasn't 99 cents nope this malt liquor wasn't even $1.99 twice that much, right? This malt liquor wasn't $4.99. No, sir. It's from Austria. Right? This isn't from Miller Coors and Hauser. This right here is from Austria. Product thereof another country's economy not union made very important yes so we're gonna enjoy this small liquor get right to it the Austrian cheers brother holy shit it smells like ass just like malt liquor. Malt liquor. Let's see, hold on. I suck at doing it. Oh my gosh. Dude. This malt liquor was 18 freaking dollars. And this malt liquor, damn, I can't do this like you guys can. Oh, 
Oh, fuck. That shit is a sugar punch in the face of like prunes, roses, and uh, honey nut Cheerios. Dude, that shit is like sweet. It tastes like a, tastes like a stout. Like perhaps a Doppelbach or a, uh, might even be like a stout. Mm. Heavy on the alcohol. It's almost like drinking a cheap wine. <laughs> But with that beer thickness. I'm so curious. I gotta extract this specimen from the bottle. Craft beer style. We'll dissect this problem. CBDC way. I'm scared. This malt liquor, well, doesn't look like piss. No foam. Wow. This malt liquor gets a beer advocate review of 85, which is a pretty good score. This malt liquor is apparently not a malt liquor. CBDC blows the whistle on this marketing campaign to disguise this beer as something it is not. At $18, I'm not sure what the intended demographic was. Um, they're in Austria. People must make really good money there or something, I don't know. The Smart Liquor is a... Uh, it's a... Way too sweet, man. How can that even be it? Maybe that's what they call malt liquor in Austria. I don't know. That really sweet, no carbonation, heavy malt, <clears throat> big alcohol presence. You can tell there's some kind of hops in there. <clears throat> but man, the sweet level. My gosh. Sugar punch right in the cookie. <sighs> it's like having a dessert. Weirdest thing. Shout out to the CBDC of the YouTube drinking community. And to the Warriors that are holding the ship true in a storm of trolls and idiots. But in my sad moment, this is a sad day for yours truly, Boomstalker Lager. I'm trying to see this out on a great note. I was hoping to have a great malt liquor with you guys. I'm not sure if it is malt liquor. It says it right there in the bottle. $18. Thought it'd be a really good party, you know? It's a party, all right. Fucking sweet. Put that shit on ice cream. It's almost like a combination of whiskey, wine, and heavy gravity malt liquor. I don't know, it's the weirdest thing I've had in a long time. Um, so, wow.
Something's hard to drink. Anyway, uh, yeah, sad moment. Not really sad, but just a formal announcement from the Pint Glass Army Productions. Uh, I don't have the time, guys, to commit to the level that some of the, I guess, uh, influential members of the community can spend, right? With not just making videos, but the time it takes to watch enough videos to understand what's going on in the culture and who's trolling who and who's banging what and so on and so forth and who's drinking this and who drank that by accident and uh, all that shit, right? So I just don't have the time and I wouldn't want to commit to anything where I couldn't add valuable time, you know? I'm trying to make good videos. Boom Chocolate Lager is the number one unique provider of shitty YouTube videos. But uh, I, I try. I try to have fun with it. Had fun with this one. I even had to practice putting on a mask and all that shit. I got my Austrian jacket on, right? Hairy chest all hanging out. Uh, yeah, so Boom Chocolate Lager. We'll check in every now and then, uh, but I'm not going to commit to making a video every week or anything like that at this point. Um, between work now and then hobbies and wanting to date more, <laughs> all this kind of stuff, I need to get out of the house. And to tell you guys the truth, uh, I find playing video games a lot more stimulating than... Uh, Watch a bunch of lushes make fun of each other, call each other names. So, that being said, Boom Shock Logger is not officially bowing out of the community. I will be a watcher and a keeper with craft beer lifestyle and an advocate for trying to make different videos instead of from the same spot all the time. And with the same theme, you know, chug a beer, make a general statement about the state of the YTDC, and move on. So, anyway, peace out. Listen to metal, drink craft beer, and malt liquor, whatever you like to drink, as long as it's recreational and responsible. And that is... Boom Chocolate Lager for now. Till we meet again, friends, I'll check in and, you know, visit every now and then. But until then, out!